Good morning. Pastor Mark Biddy here. Coming to you on the Higher Grounds podcast with another morning minute meditation. I'm here in South Carolina this weekend. I'll go home tomorrow for church and be back in North Carolina next weekend. And if there's one thing I've noticed as we travel around from here to there, not all that much, but some, I have noticed the truth of what Jesus saw in Matthew chapter number 9 when he said in verse number 36, he looked, he saw the the multitude and he had compassion on them. Then he told his disciples that the harvest was truly plenteous, but the laborers are few. Verse number 38 though, he said, pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he had sent forth laborers into the harvest. And with that, there is, of course, the letter of the prayer. That's just simply the words. Pray. Let's pray. And it's real easy to do that. Pray, Lord, send someone somewhere to tell someone the gospel. But when you get to the spirit of the prayer, the Lord's not asking them just simply to pray words and asking them to pray that someone would go. There is a spirit in that prayer that says, Lord, I'm praying for you to send laborers And if I am praying for you to send laborers, I must also realize that I am a laborer. I am a part of the answer to the very prayer that I'm praying. What about your spirit when you pray? Lord, send someone. Send someone to the foreign field. Send someone across the street. Send someone to the neighboring town with the gospel to tell them Jesus Christ saves. The world's lost. We see that every day. There's a great host of people around us day in and day out that need to hear the gospel. And many times we pray, as Jesus said to, Lord, send someone. But in the spirit of the prayer, are we willing to say, Lord, allow me to be that someone? If you're going to send somebody, let me be that somebody. This is your morning minute meditation. I hope that you will pray not only the words, but the very spirit of that prayer.